This crispy, sweet and salty treat is one of Hawaii's favorite snacks and a recipe you definitely need to try. So stick around. Aloha mai kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today we're making a classic snack that's ever so popular here in Hawaii, furakake Chex mix. Furakake is a Japanese condiment that you can find in the Asian Isle at most grocery stores. It's made of seaweed, um, sesame seeds, and sugar and salt. It's dried. And you put it over your rice, your popcorn, or in this case, Chex Mix. So let's get started. I will say that this recipe is very, very versatile. You totally can use whatever ingredients you want for this. These are the ones that I typically use, but there's so many different options. So first we'll start with corn Chex Mix. We'll use corn, rice, and wheat for this one. So you'll spread it out onto two separate pans. And actually what I like to do is spray a little bit of nonstick cooking spray just to make sure that it doesn't stick while we bake it. And before we mix this, actually, you wanna make sure that you preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's preheating, we'll get this started. So we'll put about half, cause we'll use two trays. So about half of this, so we'll do half of the um, mix. And it's all gonna get mixed together, so it's okay. Half of the rice and half of the wheat. Then I like to add pretzels. These ones have a little bit of butter on top, but you can add the straight sticks or the looped ones. That's totally fine too. I like to use bugles. You can use goldfish. You can use honeycomb cereal. Like I said, super versatile. And then uh, honey roasted peanuts. If you can't do honey, you can do dried, plain, regular salted peanuts. So about half. And then what we're gonna do is mix this up. and kind of spread it out. And you'll do the same thing on the next pan. And now that we got the two trays set up here, we'll go ahead and make the sauce to drizzle over it. So into a pan set over medium, medium high heat, you're gonna add your butter first. You don't want it too high because you don't wanna burn the butter. So you wanna make sure you kinda of keep it moving. So we'll get the butter melted down and into the butter, you're gonna add granulated sugar. If you're not a sugar fan and you wanna use something else, you totally can do that too. Coconut sugar might add a little bit of different flavor. Monk fruit sweetener if you want, up to you. So we'll add that in and then you'll just wanna mix the butter and the sugar together till the sugar kinda of dissolves. As a kid growing up, my mom would make Chex Mix all the time. We would give it as gifts for Christmas. We would take it to potlucks. She would pack it up for me to give to my teachers for special holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and those kinds of things. These are just really fun. Get the kids involved. You can put in the kind of ingredients that they like. My kids like to add goldfish sometimes. All right, now that most of the butter has melted, we'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So carol syrup. Now, for you guys who don't like corn syrup, that's fine. You can do honey or agave. Again, it'll change the flavor a little bit, but it'll work as well. Very sticky. Wanna add some vegetable oil or whatever cooking oil of choice that you'd like like canola, you can do that one as well. And then we'll add some shoyu. Shoyu is Japanese style soy sauce that can be found in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. Now, if you can't find this, you totally can add some salt in replacement of that. Soy sauce is pretty salty. If you wanna do gluten-free, which would be kinda tricky for these, you could use the rice checks for those, but you can use tamari sauce instead. And you'll just wanna make sure all of that is well mixed. Ooh. Try not to spill. And all you really wanna do is stir it until everything is well incorporated and the butter has been melted. So now, as you can see, it starts to bubble up a little bit. We wanna take it off before it goes too far. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. And the sugar has melted, the butter has melted, and it looks like a glaze like this. 
and that will be poured over our uh, Chex Mix. So I like to just dump it straight out of the pan like this, or the pot. And you wanna do half-half, yeah? Because we have two trays. So we'll go over here. that and you can smell the butter oh my goodness it smells so good sweet salty and oh so yummy I wish there was smell of vision so you could smell this and we'll just pour the extra on here so this glaze is gonna harden and thicken up and make like a, a shell almost not a thick shell or anything like that though and then all we'll do is toss that in to make sure all your pieces are nicely coated I like to just use two spoons, but you totally can use tongs or whatever you have at home. I wouldn't recommend your hands because it's hot. The sauce is hot. You could even put it in like a bowl and just kind of toss the bowl. Spread that one out. The ones at the edges, those are the ones you want to kind of flip towards the middle because those ones tend to get forgotten about. So that's this one. Then we'll just mix this one real quick. Some people like to add Tabasco. If you like a little bit of kick, you can do that. I'm not a huge fan of spice. I'm, I'm kind of a wimp for it. Um, some people like to add Worcestershire sauce as well. Tell me in the comments below, what do you like to put in your Chex Mix? All right, now that everything is mixed, then we're gonna add the star of the show, the furakake. So we'll go ahead and sprinkle that over. Like I said, this can be found in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. If your grocery store doesn't have it, you totally can buy it online. It's a great to put over all kinds of things. My kids like it, like I mentioned, on popcorn. It's great on fish and rice. And there's different styles, so get the one that you like. All right. And that's all for that. And now we'll just toss the two and then it'll go in the oven. I think the hardest part of this is trying not to spill it over the edge. Oh man, it smells so good. All right, that one is good. And all we're really trying to do is make sure that all the pieces get covered with a little bit of everything. All right, once it's all mixed, you'll just want to put it into as flat of a layer as you can. Some will overlap and that's okay, but we'll want to spread it out as best we can. Now that that's all mixed up, we'll go ahead and put it into the oven that was preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 15 minutes, what you'll want to do is take it out and stir it up to get everything mixed and coated again. And after an hour in the oven, it'll look like this. It smells so yummy. Now, you wanna let this cool completely, especially before you put them in bags and seal it. The heat will cause it to get really soft and not so great. So let it cool down. If you like this video, I'd love it if you'd hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. And enjoy.